Hey besties, welcome back to I Heard That Too. Today we're talking about the huge news that just broke. Donald Trump has officially been elected as the 47th president of the United States. Now, this is one for the history books. We're diving into the how, why, and what comes next. So grab a seat and let's get into it. All right, let's start with a quick recap of what happened. Early this morning, after a nail-biting night, Trump secured a win in Wisconsin, pushing him over the 270 electoral votes he needed to clinch the presidency. That's right, folks. Trump is back in the White House, making history as the first former president in modern times to come back after losing a previous term. But let's not forget, this journey has been anything but smooth. Over the past few years, Trump has faced a lot of heat, and I mean a lot. He dealt with felony convictions, survived two assassination attempts, and even faced accusations of inciting that infamous Capitol insurrection. And despite it all, he's come out on top. So let's break down how he made it back to the Oval Office. So, how did Trump pull this off? His campaign was aggressive, no doubt about it. This time he went all in, especially with his messaging. His attacks on Kamala Harris were intense, and let's be real, at times they crossed lines, getting personal, even veering into some heavy-handed, controversial territory. And this resonated. A lot of voters, especially men, bought into his portrayal of tough leadership. Trump's image of hyper-masculinity, his no-nonsense stance on immigration, and his promise to restore order hit home for a significant part of the electorate. Let's talk about Wisconsin, though, because that state was everything. Trump had been targeting it hard. He knew the stakes. And Wisconsin delivered. This win was the final push he needed to hit that magic number of 270. On top of that, let's not ignore his strategy with battleground states like Pennsylvania and Ohio, where he really drummed up support. Trump didn't just bring back his old base. He found new supporters who were drawn to his message, despite the controversy. So, what does this mean for America? Well, buckle up, because Trump's win is set to shape the nation in some big ways. His America First policy is likely coming back stronger than ever. We're going to see major changes in immigration, international relations, and social policies. This election shows just how polarized our country really is. Trump's win reveals that a lot of people felt unheard or left behind, and his message, controversial as it is, spoke to them. But at what cost? His critics argue that his tactics sow division and create a climate of fear. Now. The big question, what's next? Well, Trump has made a lot of promises, and he'll need to deliver. His policies are expected to shake things up quickly, and his approach to governance is likely to be as direct as his campaign was. But the other side of this is the backlash. Not everyone is on board with his vision for America, and we can expect some real pushback, both from within the country and internationally. All right, besties. That's a wrap on today's breakdown of Donald Trump's election win as the 47th president of the United States. This is a historic moment that's bound to impact all of us in one way or another. So, stay tuned to I Heard That Too for all the latest updates as we navigate this new chapter. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any breaking news. And drop a comment below. We want to know what you think about this election. Until next time, stay informed and stay engaged.